We have a rear foot elevated RDL with a row. And so the RDL, you're actually gonna be holding it. You can do it with that weight to kind of get the feel for it. Choose a weight that's appropriate. You can substitute weight for a band instead. But we're here in this position. I'm gonna kind of lean forward, right? I'm gonna get that hip, that glute and that hamstring under stretch. You shouldn't feel this in the low back. And if you are, make sure you're not overarching the spine in that position. So foot back, I'm in this like we would for a Bulgarian split squat, except I'm leaning forward, butt goes back. I feel a big stretch into the glute and into the hamstring. From here, I'm rowing and holding at the top. And make sure when you're rowing, your elbows aren't going too high. We just want to bring them to about where the rib cage is and holding that position, keeping the elbows tight and not flying out. And so from this angle here, foot's back. I'm gonna sink back with this hip. Feel a stretch into my hamstring, into my glute, making sure I'm balanced in my foot. Don't feel anything in my low back. I'm not overarching. From here, I'm rowing and getting a good squeeze at the top there. So you're gonna really feel this light up the back of the legs, as well as your lats, your back, back of your shoulders. Great exercise. Shouldn't have any pain with it. Um, it's gonna be a great, really two for one, back and legs right there.